Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. Good afternoon, South Africa, and welcome to Afternoon Express. My name is Danilo Aquisto. So today is a very big day. First of all, it's the start of the weekend, and now we've all been looking forward to that. Second of all, it's payday for some. And thirdly, and very importantly, it's the launch of SA's best interior design and reality decor competition. It's Winner Home. Over the next 17 weeks, you'll watch three competing design teams turn three white box homes into dream living spaces. And the name says it all. By the end of this competition, you could walk away with a brand new home designed and furnished by one of our amazing competing design duos. This is the biggest prize on South African television valued at a whopping 3 million rand and it's all happening right here on Afternoon Express. Now once again, Winner Home is brought to you by Private Property, one of SA's leading online property portals. Plascon will provide a splash of colour and Caesarstone has our design duos covered with luxury engineered court surfaces. First, you must be wondering where this year's big prize is located. Well, our competition homes will be taking shape in one of the most desirable lifestyle estates in Gauteng. It's Eye of Africa. Private property gives us a bird's eye view of the stunning estate. For many searching for their dream home, the journey begins at private property. The website boasts a wide variety of estate property options, including new developments in the south of Johannesburg. Situated in the Highfield landscape of Aikenhof, Eye of Africa estate is nestled between Alberton and Krasmia. It's just 17 kilometers from the city center and enjoys close proximity to good schools, hospitals and other amenities like horse riding. Hi, I'm Belinda Martin and I'm the owner of Penbird Equestrian Center and this is Bafan and Glovu. Bafan is one of our coaches. We live in the Alavanes Puerto Valley and penbird has been here for 22 years. Bafan and I have lived here all our lives. I started to work here, I was a groom, um, and now I'm a coach, and I've also got my son also riding here, and I'm doing so well, I like my job, and I've been here for many years, actually I was born here. I like to live in the south, the south is a nice place for us, there's my home. The lovely thing about the Alavans Port Valley is if you have a look around, we um, just outside of town with the Mall of the South. 15 minutes away, 10 minutes away, Waterston College, six minutes away. My daughter's grown up on a farm. We have a farm lifestyle. It's peaceful. There's still a lot of nature. We also have the Eye of Africa golf course right on our doorstep. And as far as the states go, if you've been in there, it's, it's very scenic. They've kept it natural. The kids can walk over there and take part in whatever activities, and we do holiday activities. So there's a lot to do in a wholesome environment. There are other estates in the area, but only Eye of Africa is home to the first Greg Norman Design Championship course in South Africa. The vision in this golf and residential estate is to create vibrant recreational and social community hubs thanks to the many communal leisure areas and facilities enjoyed by all the residents. I think first and foremost what attracted us to Eye of Africa estate is the lifestyle. Um, you drive through the gates and it's like being in the country. It's beautiful, it's tranquil, it's a different lifestyle from you know, the concrete jungle. I work in Santon and it's a stone throw away from Santon, but you really do feel like you, you're out in the country. The estate has beautiful facilities. We've got two restaurants, the deli, and with the deli we've got a little shop. The deli has quite a nice history because it's got the oldest schoolhouse in Gauteng, so it's quite unique that we have this beautiful old and new mixed together. So our little shop is actually housed in this, in this old schoolhouse where you can buy picnic stuff and have a picnic in one of our beautiful gardens. The deli restaurant, you can actually come and hire the deli and have your family and friends over. The Greens Grill House fits more into the golf. The golfing members 
visitors that can have a meal, have a breakfast there or a luncheon, but family in the estate can also go after work and have a meal at the Greens. For the more active residents, we've got beautiful walking trails I and mean, you can take a walk along the estate um, boundary wall. We've got cycling trails in and outside of the estate. And then obviously the golf course itself is beautiful. I'm an avid golfer, so golfing is a big thing in my life, um, as well as my family's. We've got quite a big golfing community here. Beautiful facilities, the driving range, the chipping green, the putting green. Even though we're close enough to the CBD, I mean these shopping centres on our doorstep, it still feels like we're in the countryside. Once you're through the gates, it's beautiful, it's tranquil, it's peaceful. It's the perfect lifestyle just to stay in this estate where everything is at your fingertips. I think one of the most important considerations for anyone purchasing at the Eye of Africa, over and above the lifestyle, is the security. We have a clear view fence surrounding the entire perimeter of the estate. The technology used on this fence is fiber optic detection, and we can hone in directly to any disturbance uh, or intrusion, and the security company is immediately alerted and can react to that exact point. Purchasers have a number of options when buying at the Eye of Africa. The developers have opened three new villages offering different kinds of stands. We have magnificent stands on one of the copies and we have two cluster offerings within the Eye of Africa. The stone quarter development where we have three and four bedroomed homes, completed homes starting from 2.7 million rand and origins cluster development where we have slightly larger clusters, 320 square meters, starting from 4.3 million rand. They're both beautifully appointed with um, fully integrated SMEG appliances and lots to offer and are proving very, very popular with purchasers who don't don't want to engage with an architect or a builder and are wanting to come into the estate and buy a fully completed home. Well this spot up here on Panorama Drive really captures the eye of Africa. The magnificent mountain in the backdrop, the beautiful dams, the fairways and the magnificent bushveld. I think this is the eye of Africa. Enjoying the tranquility of nature while also having the city on your doorstep. The Eye of Africa Golf and Residential Estate offers a lifestyle that is the best of both worlds. Go to privateproperty.co.za, watch the neighborhood videos and find your dream home. Private property, a home for everyone. Private Property offers the widest variety of online property listings available for sale or rent across South Africa. They make finding your dream home so simple with their easy to use website and we couldn't be more proud to once again have Private Property as one of our partners on Winner Home 2017. Private Property is a website that features thousands of new properties every single day from real estate agents, banks, developers, so if you're searching for your new home, you'll definitely find it on our site. Winner Home is the biggest, baddest property show on TV, so it's really great to be part of it. You've got all of the elements that make uh, for great TV, but also for great property expose. You've got design, you've got the drama of the various contestants and the challenges and you know, the budgets and the time pressure. So it's really exciting to see what Winner Home has become over the, the three seasons that we've been involved. Uh, and it, I'm absolutely looking forward to this one. I think it's a natural fit for private property to be involved with Winner Home. You know, Winner Home is this national platform about design and property, and private property is a digital platform about everything real estate. So the fit between our two brands is obvious. We are integrating the digital and the TV side uh, of the show. Private property is obviously a major national platform for real estate, and we've built out a digital TV channel uh, so if you miss the show on TV, you can follow it on private property. We're going to have all the episodes, we're going to have the social media feeds, uh, and of course we're going to have the competition entry all integrated into the private property platform. I think one thing that's really exciting is that we're incorporating the viewers' uh, choice into the show. You know, it's fine to have a couple of expert judges, but we think that the viewers ultimately judge uh, what's best uh, when it comes to South African property, South African design. So you'll be able to vote for your favorite team, your favorite room, uh, and ultimately enter the grand prize as well. In this season, Private Property will be bringing you a weekly property advice segment with their tip of the week. Whether you are a first-time home buyer needing guidance through the whole process or have burning questions on tenant or landlord issues, Private Property has all the expert advice. Design is really what unlocks the potential of property. Uh, it's the way spaces are configured, uh, the aesthetics, the flow between various rooms, and 
you know, we sit on the property side uh, of the design equation and it's really great to see how design can affect the valuation of property, how an asset can grow just with a good lick of paint or a, or a good design eye. So that's what's really interesting for us is to see how design can really impact on a property's value. There's still so much more Winner Home excitement to come. So after the break, we introduce you to our magazine mentors as well as our fantastic judges. And then later in the show, we introduce you to our dynamic design duos. Stay right where you are. A warm welcome back to Winner Home on Afternoon Express, where three talented design duos turn three white box living spaces into dream homes, one of which you could win. Now, throughout the series, each of our talented design duos will receive guidance and sage advice from SA's leading design lifestyle magazines, VC, Habitat, and House and Leisure. So without any further ado, let's meet those mentors. <laughs> I'm Anna-Marie Mainkies, Deputy Editor for VC Magazine. VC is a lifestyle magazine, and we zoom in more on architecture and interior design, and we stay away from scatter cushions. I have been in so many homes. I've been in so many lodges, and I've been in so many hotels, and we're there for days because we photograph. When we leave a space, we know everything that worked and that didn't work. And I believe that experience is what I need to advise my dear to make the right decision. The type of mentor I'll be, I will let them come up with ideas. But it's going to be very hard for me to keep my mouth shut because I am a bit outspoken. I think what is important for VC is to, to choose a duo that is young, and has a future ahead of them, and a love for color, for interiors, for architecture, a sound knowledge of design. For me, it's not about winning, but what is very important for me is that this program is going to establish them as interior designers of the future. Win a Home is the only competition on television for young designers and it is going to open doors. My name is Amanda Graham and I'm the Deputy Managing Editor for Habitat magazine. There are various sections that make up Habitat, interior design, decor, architecture, art, travel, to name a few. My day-to-day -day activities as Deputy Managing Editor are to manage the office, the staff within the working space, looking for interiors to feature in Habitat, and I believe that my skills, knowledge and experience will assist the duo that I'm assigned to work with throughout the series. The ideal duo for me would be one which displays enthusiasm, talent, passion, and inspiration. As a mentor, I'd be working very closely with my duo, giving them confidence and encouragement at all times. So I will be very hands-on. And obviously, I would be very proud of them if Habitat were to win the competition. I think Winner Home is a great competition. It's the only one of its kind in this country. It gives young, aspirational interior designers an opportunity to prove themselves within a certain deadline period and to be able to use the tools, materials, the, the expertise and knowledge that they have in creating a beautiful home on a limited budget. My name is Tian Nachel. I'm the editor at House and Leisure. I feel what sets us apart um, at HL is that we celebrate local design. We look at international trends and we digest and we morph them for a local audience. I'm looking for someone with a sensitive opinion, someone that understands what they're trying to achieve. So not necessarily someone that slavishly follow trend, someone that can interpret. And ultimately I want my readers and your viewers to look at the project and go, I get that this is Mr. X or Mrs. X or whatever. Um, their handwriting and personality needs to come across. 
My expectations from a mentor's point of view is that they really use their time. Coming off a renovation myself, I know that there's never enough money, there's never enough time, and that you really need to apply yourself and focus on the task at hand. I've been told I'm a little bit controlling, so this is going to be a challenge for me um, going into this process. I hope I would be able to mentor in a way that the doer feels that they've got free reign to do their thing. But of course I'm going to give my input as well and mould and shape where I think things could be better. Um, so hopefully it's a successful collaboration if we get it right. If not, I'll take them out for a drink and make up for it. If they, if they hate me, we'll see. What I hope from this process is that we get to put a new creative team on the map, um, that we get to showcase their talent and introduce them to the industry, and hopefully give them that, that step up, that platform, and kickstart their career. Now that we've met the magazine head honchos who will be mentoring our competing designers, it's time for us to find out who has the tough job of judging this year's Winner Home Design duos. The winner is... Donald After winning season one of Winner Home, I was given incredible opportunities to work in different areas. I've set up the business to work in residential markets, high-end residential office work, as well as uh, hospitality industry. And in every case, we have given as a team 100% and have produced work that is credible and that is creative and work that has been applauded. And so it is an incredible honor to come back as a judge on the show and impart my skills and my knowledge. Winning the competition definitely puts you in a league of its own because it makes, it makes people aware that you are credible as a designer because it is on a national TV show. The exposure that comes with that means that people are more aware of you and you're able to get uh, into more people's vocabulary and their homes because you are on TV. Looking back on some of the many great advice that we got on the show, I look back and I think the best advice must have come from Stephen Falk. He said, keep it simple. And he also said that the ultimate in luxury is comfort. I was able to take that advice and really implement it in my designs and the result were these very elegant, sophisticated, effortless interiors. And that is the advice that I would give to all the contestants, is really to keep it simple and when you design, design around the human being. Ultimately, you can create luxurious interiors, but they really need to be comfortable. The process of grueling, especially putting together an interior in front of cameras, I mean, it's difficult enough doing that without any cameras in your face. So the failures are seen on camera, the successes are seen on camera. I think having been in that competition, I look at it with a little bit more empathy. But I know that they have helped, so not too much empathy. I'm looking forward to great drama because of the team dynamic of the show. I'm looking forward to how the teams interact amongst one another. But ultimately, I'm looking forward to great design and great competition. I'm Katleho Kwanzo. I work for Classcon and I am the premium category brand manager. So I look after the premium brands within Plascon. With my background with Plascon and with paint, colour is quite important, but designers might also tend to forget about the functionality of the product. So I'll be looking at both. I'll also be looking at how they incorporate the psychology of colour into their design, because that's quite key. Colour impacts us in so many ways that we're not ordinarily aware of. It can change the space without even changing the furniture. So that's what I'm gonna be looking at, how they incorporate color. Not necessarily only on the walls, but also on the finishing touches, um, your cushions and so forth. The advice that I would give to the contestants is to have a look at spaces that are livable. You haven't met the client, but the space is really there to be lived in. So the livability needs to be primary, um, but their personalities must also show through. It's one thing to follow the trends, but at times you shouldn't sacrifice your personality for, for trends. So I'll be looking at their personality, how they've incorporated that into their design, but as well as is the design actually practical and is it livable. Interior designers tend to have a specific style. They have personalities and they tend to gravitate towards what they've done previously and what they know. I believe that having editors in the season is fantastic because they tend to have a wider range of styles and trends 
um, so they won't be limited to a specific way of designing. Um, so I think it's fantastic. When it comes to judging this season, I think I will be quite a practical judge. I tend to be leaning more on practical. Um, the other judges will bring quite a lot of aesthetic, looking at design and so forth, whereas I'm going to be looking for more practicality when it comes to design. Now each week, Donald and Katlejo will have a guest judge join them on the panel, including industry luminaries such as Stephen Falk, Ntabi Taukobong, David Moorhead, and even Stephen Pellerade, to name a few. So follow the journey to see the big names of interior design lend their expertise to win a home. Now after the break, we meet our exciting design duo, so you stay right where you are. Because if it doesn't improve people's lives, it isn't Plascon. Plascon. Designed for life. This is the season premiere of Winner Home on Afternoon Express. Welcome back. Now, previously on the competition, designers have competed as individuals. This year, we've decided to double up on great homegrown talent with designers competing as duos. Chosen by House & Leisure magazine is a pair that believes their great professional relationship will translate into great design in the competition. They are Vanelle Koza and Seppo Cialeza. My name is Vanilla Koza and I'm an artist. My name is Sapo Sialeta and I'm an interior designer. We're so excited to be one of the final duos only because we've been trying for the past years to enter. It's actually been three years since we've been trying, but we are so grateful that we made the cut because we didn't believe that it was going to happen. Because mm, on the day that we got the call, we waited like the whole day. And then I remember I, I tweeted, it doesn't matter what happens, you should always like follow your dreams. And then nine minutes after I sent that tweet, I, like I get an email. I, I read the, the first few lines, dear Tepin Banelo, congratulations. I didn't even read like the rest of the email. I was like, yeah, in the house. I grew up in a small little town between Mafiking and Lechtenberg. And I was staying with my mom that side. She passed away just before I turned seven. So I, ever since I've been staying with my grandmother, she's like my mom, she inspires me. Like she's that person who when she wants something, she goes after it. When it comes to interior design, I remember this one day, we were watching top billing and then my cousin, she suggested that, oh you, maybe you should study like interior design since you love art. And then I thought, mm, what's this interior design? I went and checked it out and I found out that it is something that I can enjoy doing myself. And then it, my love for it grew from there. I grew up in Tlatikulu, Swaziland. I actually got my inspiration and to actually be an artist from watching television and also with press like magazines. So that's why I actually began everything in regards to interior spaces. It's been my secret love like ever since and I'd do it when my mother would be at school and I'd just start shifting things around and then she'd always be impressed. For me, drawing became a friend to me because I didn't grow up interacting with a lot of people. It's still the same today. I mean, I interact with plants because I think of them as more of my children. It's actually love because you give them water and they give back to you their beauty. And I also actually paint so after painting, I've learned that there's a career in collecting as well. So I also curate spaces and I also lecture as well. When Sepo left his job as an interior architect, I thought he was crazy. <laughs> but it was great because it inspired me, the fact that he can actually focus and say, this is what I want to do. Meaning he didn't want to do 9 to 5 anymore. And then I called him into my company and asked him, can you please help me with just a few things so that we get things going. Only because I knew he's like avid with detail. And for me, I'm not so much into detail. I'm just like, okay, that's fine. And he's like, no, that's I'm not crazy with detail. <laughs> yes. I'm like, obsessively crazy. What inspired us to enter as a duo, it's because we actually work together. Like we get along, we've done projects that have sent us to Cape Town and all that. And I was never frustrated with him. <laughs> so. And another thing that makes it interesting is our different design backgrounds. He's a fine artist, I'm an interior designer. So I, we felt like that would be like a nice combination and it would bring about something different. 
But at the same time, I think we kind of clash in terms of style. Style. Because <laughs> I like flowers, a whole lot of flowers. And and I, well, not that I don't like flowers. He doesn't. But <laughs> not a lot of them. I appreciate a flower here and there, not like a whole nursery in my house. <laughs> We've known each other for six years and since we've known each other that long, I believe that we're gonna be like the bomb yes. in this competition. We're gonna... yeah. <laughs> Our next design duo will be combining a deep passion for design and aesthetics with a keen interest in real estate. Selected from all the entrants by VC Magazine are Mpo Mpacha, aka Mpo Designer, and Lesejo Masekela. I am Lesejo Masekela. I am a interior designer and I'm going to be South Africa's greatest interior designer. Hi, I'm a designer and I'm an interior designer. I studied at Tswani University of Technology. So this is a platform for me and Lesejo to expose more about ourselves. And we think it's about time now we let South Africa know what we are capable of doing. I am the youngest of two children and I was raised by a single mother. I'm very close with my mother and she actually inspired me to carry on into interior design with her love for beautiful things and specifically beautiful homes. During the day, um, I spend a lot of my time revamping some of the furniture at home, especially with my mother. Um, we bond over it quite a bit. Actually, my entire family is involved, quite involved with interior design. My sister has three children and um, they also come along shopping with us to see decor and they also have their own ideas about it. My love for interior design comes from my grand. She inspired me a lot from since I was a, a child. My grand used to work for a fragrance company, so I was inspired by different smells to create a beautiful space. So I used to take this lavender smell and put it with a potpourri smell and also a clean linen smell and put it in another room and to other create different types of spaces at the same time. And then that's why I saw it in me that I have that interior design thing. I'm based in Sushanguve and like I get most of my inspiration that I implement in the designs from where I come from. So I never forget where I come from basically. So I'm a community-based guy that does a lot of, uh, I, I wouldn't say community-based work, but advise most uh, uh, residents where I stay to like have better understanding of how design works, like for color psychology, kind of those things. Mpo and I have very different personalities. He's got a very good eye and a good vision, whereas I'm more technical. We also have very differing styles and aesthetics. He has a more, um, contemporary but modern look, whereas I like empty, clean spaces. So I think when that comes together, it makes for a very beautiful end product. And we also are very inspired by modern art yeah. in our city right now. Uh, we love to go to galleries yeah, yeah. and look through what's happening right now or what people are seeing as happening right now in the art world. Lesoho, she's a very brilliant designer. Uh, She's the person that makes me think that design is like music. You can speak two different languages, but as long as you can flow with the song, it can be a beautiful song. Definitely, definitely agree with that. Sometimes I do put him to work and make him do things he doesn't want to do, but he has to do it. She's like a mom. Hey, you know how moms are. Go and do your homework. No. So I ended up doing my homework. Yes. But we are definitely going to be the best, the best duo yeah, for the winner home competition. Two down and one to go. After the break, we introduce you to our final design duo, and these guys bring all the razzle and the dazzle. You do not want to miss this. The global trendsetter in kitchen countertops, Caesar Stone. It's different. Welcome back. You've met two of our design duos competing on Winner Home on Afternoon Express, and our final pair are both partners personally and professionally, and they've had success in the fashion world. They have big dreams for a future in interior design, and they'll be representing Habitat magazine. Say hello to Brad and Abia, superstar. My name's Abia, superstar, Matlasi. And I'm Bradley Mattet, and watch out for us to razzle, dazzle, and take over the interior world. I started out growing up as a child that was obsessed with fashion. I spent my life dressing up dolls as a child. I can yeah. see you doing that. <laughs> and 
after school, I went to go study my BCom communication. Yeah, it wasn't for me. Um, and in my late 20s, I had this, still this creative urge. And that's when I decided to study fashion. Together with the beer, we started Amen Fashion. I have the same background as Bradley, where I also started at law, like studying law, and it was, oh, hell no. If I'm gonna be the judge, it's the judge of fashion. <laughs> so, studied fashion, and that's where we met each other. And from that get-go, we just knew we wanted to be the first and the last word in fashion and try to take over the world. We started a fashion brand together, and one thing led to another. They say business doesn't mix with pleasure, but, but we like to break the rules, <laughs> I'd say. And I always call him my baby daddy, because we got two Yorkies, yeah. and I give him how. <laughs> baby boss and baby bitch keep us very busy. Sure. They're I little thought, fashionistas. We actually did design like a capsule range for them, which we stocked at a local store. Yes, Pet yeah. Store. Bea and I are a uh, design like duo. Interchangeable. Yeah. We've got, I think, the same taste. Absolutely. And, uh, Over the top, OTT. So less is not more, it's less. Yes. More is more. Always. Always. <laughs> yes, always. <laughs> We've actually hosted our own fashion show. We've done a lot of pop ups. Yeah, Swanee Fashion Week. We run programs with women at different recreation centers. Mm, like uh, teaching them actually how to sew, how to take your fashion business to the next level. It's like nice to be able to have passed on some of the things that we've learned, challenges, yeah. hurdles, yeah. like budgets. Yes. They get smaller and smaller, but yeah. your design's got to get bigger and bigger. Yeah. We are super duper over the moon. <laughs> Stars sun. and the galaxy <laughs> excited. We are super excited to be chosen for the season of Winner Home. You know when a wild card wins? Yeah. That's how it felt when they picked us. Because it was usually no no, you guys are too much. Whoa, stop the lorry, stop the track. Yes. And this time around it was so nice to be chosen because we loved it. Yeah, we entered it previous years. We watched it every year. We love it. So yeah. we thought we'd use our creative flair and Give this competition a shot. Yeah, make someone win a home with a little razzle. Yeah. In terms of fashion, we use a lot of the decor, mm. like to actually create a space that you'd want to shop in. So it's a natural transition as the artists that we are to like mix decor, then you sell your items, but you can't just have a white wall and plunk the garments. People will be, mm, is that on sale? You yeah. know? And we've always been creative that in our space, we wanted it to be creative. Absolutely. Yeah. So when you walk in, you feel a sense of, this room has got a life or it's something. It feels yeah. nice. Yeah. With fashion keeping us busy, and now interior, that's gonna turn that wheel round and around and around and around. <laughs> There's a popular saying that goes, success is a journey, it's not a destination. And if that's the case, then our winner home journey must begin. Our contestants made their way to Eye of Africa Estate to receive the keys to the homes they'll be decorating and to meet their mentors. So let the competition begin. It's time to take out our hammers, drills, nails, because Team Habitat mm. is the dream team and we're in it to win it. We're in the game and we're going to kill it. And I think we are going to show South Africa what we're capable of doing. This is a dream come true and we can't wait to get our hands dirty. <laughs> we got this. Yes. Contestants, welcome to the Stone Quarter development in the heart of the Eye of Africa Golf and Residential Estate. Behind me are the three homes that you'll be decorating and I'm sure you're dying to get started. But first, we need to determine which unit you'll be calling home for the next 14 weeks. Inside this hat are three keys. Would each design contestant team come and select one set of keys from the hat? We're actually very nervous right now because we don't know which house we're going to get and also will it have enough light? So nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we definitely hope we get the best unit, as all of the duos would want. I'm betting with all my heart that Lesoa has magic 
hands? <laughs> yes, mm. lucky fingers. Mm. I hope we get the standards far, 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 far off. Far away from our neighbours. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping for. There's three stands. Two stands are next to each other, one stands around the corner. Sure. Sure. We, <laughs> we don't want neighbours peeping over it. Well, there you have it. Contestants, the key in your hand could represent the key to the future of your design success. Contestants, go forth and decorate. Are you ready to win a home? I am. <laughs> I am ready to win this home. Wow. Okay, so this would be the lounge. Mmm, gorgeous. We've just walked in and seen the house. It's amazing! Yes. And that's gotta be done. A lot. A lot. Right. But it's better than the rest. Yeah. Smashing down walls, <laughs> lifting putting in glass, <laughs> lifting up ceilings. Putting in an upstairs <laughs> and maybe a downstairs <laughs> basement. Mm. Everything. <laughs> but we're glad. We're, we're glad. so glad. Ah. Okay, so this would be what? Like the first bedroom. First bedroom, yeah. Are the lights Maybe. on? No. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> yes! The lights are on! <laughs> Woo, we are off to a good start. <laughs> Winning one. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. I'm delighted with our duo. They were my first preference. I think they're flamboyant, they're eccentric, they've got great energy. I think we're gonna work well together. I'm looking forward to mentoring them. How do you think that we should best utilize this area? I think that we should possibly consider concealing a portion of, of the kitchen area. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because it's very open plan right yeah. now and like it things are right there. Yeah, it's, it does. Yeah, just to give privacy yeah. between kitchen yes. lounge. and the living area. Yes, and okay. the person doing the dishes. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to get the right of where you are. It's a thing. Do you want to see the rest of the place? Yes. Yeah, right, let's take you around. Great. I think if you have a vision, generally, uh, which they do have for fashion, they'll be able to apply that to design. We are entering the house. <laughs> We're overwhelmed, the reality has set in, mm -hmm. and we're about to start this competition. And I'm glad that it's a white box, that we need to work inside of it, but we're gonna have to think outside of the box. And inside the box. Yep. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I think it's gonna be a very amazing bedroom. What do you think? I think it's gonna be amazing. Mm, I think we can have the bed there, headboard, wallpaper, curtains everywhere. Just and like a hotel. Head. You get what, you get my point. Like, yes. yes, so let's do this. I love it. <laughs> Hello. Ah, oh, there you are. Hello, You've been through everything. Yes, yes. Ah, oh, Anna Marie. Oh. Oh. oh, wow, what do you think? Well, I think we can turn this space into a marvelous place. This is where we're going to show people that design is actually a loving King. Mm, exactly. <laughs> you make me so happy. <laughs> it's a nice duo. They're young, they're creative, and they think young, which is not a normal thing when you get to designers or decorators. There's always too much fabric involved and too many scatter cushions. This is gonna be the most challenging space. Yeah. It's not private at, at all. all. Oh, That's yeah. why I bought you some magazines. Oh, lovely. It will keep you busy on the weekend. Thank you, Emily. Just enjoy it. Let's talk, let's keep communicating. Definitely. Excited Good luck. All the Bye. best. Bye, all the best. I try and tell them to go for as little as possible so that there's space for the human being who lives in the house. Otherwise, it's too cluttered. Ooh la la. Oh, wow. Ah! <laughs> this is so beautiful. We are walking into the house for the first time and all we're seeing is a blank canvas. I'm so scared. I didn't have enough practice with designing a whole entire house. But I've had a bit of experience with my place, like just curating it and doing all that. <laughs> oh wow, I think this is the master bedroom. <laughs> this is the bathroom. Oh wow, I love the exposed wall. We didn't have a tub. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> It'll be so lovely to have the bed that side. I think that's where it's supposed to be. Yeah. No, I want it that no, side. Two plants that side. No, I want it this side. We have a mentor, so I hope he's here. Then we can ask him. Yes, and I think he'll agree like with, with me. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Tian, morning. Sabo, how are you? Nice to meet you. Bye. Yeah. Cool. We are already yeah. having a turf in the bedroom about the positioning <laughs> of the bed. Yeah. Then we didn't struggle each other. We just got here on time. Perfect. Well, while we're here, let's discuss the patio. Okay. That'll be perfect. What That'll are you guys perfect. thinking of doing outside? Um, a day bed here. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then on the side, we can have like two hanging egg, those egg chairs. Yeah. And then the center, it can be a coffee-like kind of setup. So predominantly furniture, you're not going to introduce some greens or greens. Um, so the greens will mostly be at the garden okay. area because we're going to have a pond there. I'm really excited to be working with um, Banele and Seppo. Both of them have an artistic background and they both seem calm-tempered and well-mannered, all of those things that you need to take you through to this process. I'm looking really forward to working with them. So this is where we fought a lot. We think, like I, I was personally thinking of having the bed that side, mm -hmm. since the platform is already that side. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be easier. And for private, privacy... Yes, I agree with you. You don't want to walk in and see your bed first. I think there's something nice about having that on that side of the room. Yeah, that's true too. I just want it to be spicy. <laughs> <laughs> There's already been a bit of rivalry between the two of them, um, which I think would um, create healthy competition and would make all the projects and, and as the rooms unfold, um, give it a little bit of dynamic. Well, it looks like we're in for a whole lot of inspired design and creative ideas in Winner Home this year. We're taking a quick break, but when we return, find out how life has changed for our previous season's grand prize winners. Welcome back. Winner Home boasts the biggest prize on South African television, a designer furnished dream home worth more than 3 million rand. Now, if you are already imagining winning that grand prize, then here's some more inspiration to enter as our previous winners share how Winner Home has changed their lives. In the first season of Winner Home, Josh Gloak won a stunning property at Stain City designed by Kim Hutton. Sure, I mean, the butterflies were there, I was super, super nervous. It took me a few seconds to realize what, what I'd actually won and what was actually in the safe. But when I did, I mean, it was an unreal feeling, absolutely incredible. Opening the front door to my first home, having a professionally interior designed home to start off with at, at 23 is it's absolutely incredible. I mean, I'm immensely blessed and lucky. The season two winner of an apartment at Ilana Views Estate in Umhlanga Ridge was Kajal Siraj, a teacher from rural KZN. Oh my word, I can't believe it. I actually won this house. I'm overwhelmed. I'm excited. I'm anxious. I want to jump for joy. Oh my word, this is so <laughs> amazing. Now that I've won this flat, it's completely changed my life. I've got a holiday home for my family and I. Uh, we can visit whenever we want to, We're not paying for accommodation, and um, we can all get together and just come and just hang out and relax. Last year's winner of a designer apartment in the Polo Village at Valdivie Estate was lucky Palessa Moisi. Palessa! <laughs> well done, Palessa! It was being stand still for a moment. I didn't. Like my mind was somewhere else. It was just some few seconds. And then after I realized, hey, I need to take out my key and show it to everybody. <laughs> but it was beautiful. It was nice. It was so unbelievable. This opportunity, it, it's gonna change my life forever. And I think for now I'll rent the house and then so that I can pay for my fees. It's because okay. we're struggling. My mother, she's a single parent and I'm still, I still have a younger sister. So this thing could have changed our lives forever. Our design duos will be competing for prizes, but the real winner here could be you. Throughout Winner Home, there'll be fantastic opportunities for you to win bi-weekly prizes. To enter, simply go online to privateproperty.co.za and vote for your favorite Winner Home design duo. Each of your entries into the bi-weekly competition will automatically enter you into our grand prize competition where you could win your choice of one of three homes as completed by our design duos. 
This week, you could win a Sealy Posturepedic mattress and base set, providing you with healthy sleep and a healthy life. All the T's and C's can be found on privateproperty.co.za. This season of Winner Home is undoubtedly going to be the most exciting yet. And to get things started, our design duos, their mentors, judges, sponsors, and the media all recently gathered at the Eye of Africa to celebrate the launch of the 2017 edition of the competition. A glamorous event at the Old School Delhi at Eye of Africa Estate served as the perfect platform to reveal the selected design duos and rub shoulders with the who's who of Josie's property and design scene. Well, it's fantastic to have uh, Winner Home back in, in Johannesburg after it originated here, went down to Durban, Cape Town. We're bringing it back. We at the beautiful Eye of Africa Estate to host the fourth season with, I believe, not eccentric, but exceptional contestants this year. And uh, we look forward to this challenge, uh, obviously, in partnership with Winner Home. Firstly, Eye of Africa as a property is absolutely remarkable. I mean, imagine winning a home on one of the most beautiful estates in Johannesburg. The sunset that we witnessed tonight was absolutely magnificent. The homes around here are so glorious. So I think this is possibly going to be our best season of Winner Home. Well, Caesar Town is delighted to be involved with Winner Home again this year. Last year was an amazing success. And I think the idea for us is to be involved with emerging young designers. We're excited about design, we're excited about young people finding their feet in design and just watching them as they build their career into something wonderful. That's what it's about. What wonderful memories coming back and this time coming back as a judge and seeing all the creativity and seeing all the contestants. I'm just so excited for them. I'm so excited for what's to come. I'm excited for all the drama that's coming and I get to judge all the creativity. As Pascon, we're not just here to give um, a splash of colour, we're just here to support young talent and uh, being part of this initiative is actually something that we really, really feel deep in our hearts because we are actually about design for life. And having seen the duos and actually the talent and the passion behind it, it's actually exactly who we are about and we're so excited to be once again part of this initiative. Being introduced to everyone here at the launch was so humbling, so honoured. Uh, there were so many people that I would not have had the opportunity to meet had I not been here. So I'm very grateful to be part of one of the top three duos. If it wasn't for hard work, we wouldn't have been here. So I think hard work is also part of making your dreams come true. And we can do it. We can kill it. Um, it is insane to be part of the top three and especially growing up watching it on TV and you just like all of a sudden you're the one on the stage and it's like dreams come true actually. We're also excited to have met like the sponsors and everybody else who's going to be contributing to us the project and another thing that was so amazing is to have met Donald. It's been very exciting like having the launch at I of Africa. Africa where we're going to be designing one of the homes which we are very excited for and we should deliver what we have promised <laughs> and more sizzling stuff. The revel and dazzle. Absolutely. SABC3 is very excited and looking forward to the new exciting season of Winner Home. Biggest prize on TV and we can't wait to drive it on air and get as many people voting. So the stage is yours, watch the show to win the exciting prize. I already have my favourites, I know that that's probably not allowed, but I've, I've got my eye on a duo that I think are more than likely going to take it, they've got it in the bag. One lucky viewer will win themselves the biggest prize on South African television, a home worth more than 3 million rand. Our design contestants have all the cards to play and we cannot wait to see what design inspiration they bring to South African TV, only on SABC3, the stage is yours. <laughs> It's crazy how time flies. Next week, our design duos get started on decorating their first space, the guest bedroom. Thanks once again to Private Property, Plascon and Caesarstone, the official sponsors of Winner Home. For more information on the competition, click on to privateproperty.co.za and don't forget to connect with Winner Home on social media. Join us again next Friday at 4pm on Afternoon Express as we celebrate more local design, decor and real estate only on Winner Home. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone.
Afternoon Express, made with love by Clover. Another feel-good production.